Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. I apologize, we've been a bit behind, I understand. Um, we just have been extremely busy. It's It's been chaotic. And I know I keep saying this, but you guys have no idea how chaotic it's been, okay? Um, we just opened calendar and we are already booking for April and May. So you guys uh, figure. Anyways, this is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to start off with the shells. Then we're going to go into the tarot. Then we're going to go into the oracle message for you. Uh, I just wanted to get a little bit deeper into what is unfolding for the month of March. What can you expect? What new opportunities and blockages we need to work through for this month, okay? So let's get into your reading, Aries. How are you doing, my lovelies? My fiery Aries. I hope you guys are doing amazing. I see you guys. I see you guys working very hard, very diligent towards your financial abundance. Okay, what are the messages for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? All right. Okay, Aries, so there is a major opportunity coming to you for the month of March. They're giving me, they're giving me 18, 19, and 20. 18, 19, and 20, those are dates that are going to be important. It is very connected to your business or to your career. There's going to be some type of upheaval, um, certain things that are going to be changing in your company, certain things that are going to be moved around. I see a bit of scattering. I see people deliberating. Um, should we keep this person? Uh, is this person putting effort? This is where you shine, Aries. What they're telling you is if you've been hold, if you feel like you've been holding back or people have been holding you back for growth, uh, for success, and there is a specific individual that is either higher position than you or someone that looks over you, I feel that there may be some type of ego involved here. And up until now, it could have been them who were holding your progress. However, like I said, um, unfolding in the month of March, there's going to be an opportunity where there's going to be a need for you to think on your feet. There is something that has to do with you making a decision that is going to solidify whatever your higher superiors have been thinking or have been knowing about you um, without really the without really the uh, acknowledgement or the help of that one specific person that has been uh, kind of hindering your progress at work or in the workplace. Um, this is a major opportunity. It could be a higher position. It could be getting paid uh, more or perhaps what you should have been getting paid is what they're telling me. So again, um, there is massive potential here. I also do see um, there's going to be some type of opportunity for you guys. I want to say, okay, so what they're telling me here is in regards to love and romance. Um, they're giving me specifically the month of the last week of March, the month of April, beginning of April. And what they're saying is that there's going to be this opportunity, this connection. Uh, that's if you already haven't or are not in a committed relationship. What they're telling me is that there's a specific individual that you're going to either be meeting or that is going to be coming into your life uh, that is directly connected with the workplace or where you're working at, or it could be that you meet them while they're working. There is a connection there. However, what they're saying here is this person may actually have children, or this could be you, Aries, that has children, um, and the person that is coming into your life doesn't have kids. I feel that there is almost like a challenge. Um, this could be you, or this could be them, that kind of, you know, has this thing about not dating people with children, something along those lines, but I feel that this connection is going to be very strong, that it's quickly going to be changing. They're not going to be singing that song anymore. And trust me, let me tell you, Aries, I've known a lot of people that have sworn up and down, um, I'm not going to get in a committed relationship with someone with children, and boom, they end up with people with children. So let's never say I will not drink from that water. You get me? Okay. So what they're showing me here as well, Aries, is um, it's important to maintain some type of balance. I see you guys either overeating 
or oversleeping or not sleeping enough. And what they're telling you is there is a need for you to find that balance, okay? I understand we work. I understand that uh, some of us work almost, it feels like 24 seven. Um, but we have to put effort into, uh, you know, making sure that we're taking care of ourselves or making sure that we're getting those that rest. Um, I don't want you to exhaust yourself, especially going into the month of April, okay? All right, let's get into your tarot reading. Let's see what spirit has for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of March 2021. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I've been telling the other signs. These cards are humongous. They're so hard to shuffle. Not that I'm complaining. I feel that I get a lot of information from these cards. So that's why we're using them. I just wanted to delve deeper into your readings, you guys. I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, don't forget to subscribe, like, share this video, or comment below. Let me know. All right, Aries, Sun, Moon, Raising Venus for the month of March 2021. One more shuffle. Okay. All right. Aries at the bottom of the deck. This is your energy. King of Wands. Be more confident in what you're doing or in your power. Stay in your power, Aries. Stop self-doubting yourself. Stop listening to other people or um, what other people's expectations are of you or lack of uh you know, the potential that they may not see in you doesn't mean anything. It is not true. It is not. Listen to your gut is what they're telling you and be confident in yourself. Know your worth and know what you deserve. Do not allow anyone else to set limitations for you. Now you have here the four of cups. Four of cups could represent a bit of boredom, a bit of stagnation, or just feeling um, a bit like I'm going day to day type of energy. The next card is the death card. So we go from <laughs> a bit of stillness or a bit of stagnation to the death card. The death card is always transformation. This is major transformation. This is um, the type of energy where you're bored over here in La La Land and you're like, oh, I'm kind of bored of just living day to day. Um, I'm single, but I have no interest in anyone. No one sparks my interest. Um, or if you're in a committed relationship, this has turned routine. I'm just bored. And then the death card appears. The death card is here to tell you whether you're ready or not. There's major transformation that's coming. Uh, I've been bored sitting over here because there's been stagnation. No more. It's kind of like I've been bored and then boom, the person that uh, is going to spark your interest and create this type of passion and intensity in your life is coming through. You may be dealing with the Scorpio energy. Now, the next card here is your card, Aries, the Magician. Major transformation with this new beginning. For some of you guys, it could be, like I said, um, a transformation in regards to something you've been wanting to manifest for quite a while. The Magician is always... Uh, us having the power or coming to the realization of the power that we behold, uh, things start to unfold. Perhaps you've been wanting to manifest something for a very long time. It just wasn't happening with the four of cups. You kind of almost got to the point of giving up and then boom, the death card shows up. There's transformation, there's movement, there's progress. The magician, the manifestation itself. And I do see the death card going with the magician or going towards the magician. So there is an ending cycle, something that uh, has been very routine, has been very ordinary, uh, and you're going into this new beginning. April is going to be very powerful for you guys. And your next card is success here, the chariot card. Chariot card is being in control. This is about knowing your power. And let me put these cards down because I'm feeling very strong with these two cards. So right here, what they're telling you here is the magician, it is you. It is understanding the power that you have. This is synchronization. This is seeing angel numbers. This is having lucid dreams where uh, whatever's keeping you up at night or creating some type of stress, they are showing you, they are deliberating to you and telling you what are the steps that you need to take in order to end a cycle or break certain 
patterns or traits about ourselves that keeps us from progressing moving forward. The chariot card here is coming to your understanding and knowing your power. And the chariot is success and success comes through the understanding that it is you through the will, meaning through your will, will you manifest or create whatever it is that you're wanting to co-create. The chariot, as we can see here, um, is riding and it's riding off of its will, meaning they're pushing forward towards the direction that uh, this male figure here is taking uh, the chariot, but it is through their will. It is not, you don't see any like handles or anything like that. Uh, it's free reign. And it is, again, like I said, through will. So what they're telling you here is stick to that that you've been doing or you've been wanting to bring forth. That's definitely going to be manifesting for you guys for this month of March going into the month of April. All right. So let's see what Spirit's direct message is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is coming towards them? What new opportunities, news? challenge or obstacle they may be dealing with for this month of oh and we have the card that flipped so we have here the clouds this is fear um this is talking about having the fear of uncertainty this is almost like the person that is trying to move forward or go towards some type of goal or achievement. But they say, you know, I can't really see the full stairs. I can only see the first two steps. Um, so I'm not sure if I should go down this, this route. And what they're telling you here is don't allow your fears to hold you back, Aries. You're the only one that's holding yourself back. All right. The four of cups here is a representation of the universe bringing to you certain opportunities and instead of taking that opportunity and being grateful or being thankful this is you over here fantasizing daydreaming or wanting something else not really paying attention to what they're bringing to you so what they're telling you here is let go of the fears of uncertainty do not fixate so much on the future learn to live in the present it's okay to have goals and aspirations that will develop in the future but be present. Pay attention to the opportunities that are coming to you so you don't let them pass you by. All right? Okay, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I wish you guys the very best, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.